excuse me. Good morning, Morgan. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> Let's try this again. Good morning, Morgan, and good morning to any of Morgan's friends that are joining us for today's video. In today's video, we're going to start by creating uh, this poll app, polls app, and this is going to be the uh, pretty much what we're going to be doing for this um, series of videos. And with that, let's go ahead and start the reading. Creating the polls app. Now that your environment, a project, is set up, you're set to start doing work. Each application you write in Django consists of a Python package that follows a certain convention. Django comes with a utility that automatically generates the basic directory structure of an app, so you can focus on writing code rather than creating directories. Projects versus apps. What's the difference between a project and an app? An app is a web application that does something, e.g., a blog system, a database of public records, or a small poll app. A project is a collection of configuration and apps for a particular website. A project can contain multiple apps. An app can be in multiple projects. <coughs> your apps can live anywhere on your Python path. In this tutorial, we'll create our poll app in the same directory as your manage.py file so that it can be imported as its own top-level module, rather than a sub-module of my site. To create your app, make sure you're in the same directory as manage.py and type this command. Okay, so <clears throat> this talks about the modularity of these apps or little programs within a bigger structure or website. And uh, <clears throat> so you can have multiple apps working on the same website. So all the apps are going to be files underneath the main project folder or better yet you can take an app and create it for one website and then you can reuse it in other websites okay modularity okay the uh, uh, reusability okay and uh, here it talks a little bit about uh, the uh, what the file structure would look like but we're not going to do that we're going to create a whole new project for this app, okay, because I want to try and do a better job of explaining how to use Visual Studios to create a project because the last time I tried to, try to do it, it didn't work out at all. So we're going to try and do that today. And with that, let's continue. All right, hopefully you can see this. All right, so... <clears throat> When you first log into Visual Studios, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see all the little projects that you've been working on over here. So you can click on that and go straight to it. Or you can create a copy of one. Uh, here's one that says open it up, uh, <clears throat> which is I just double click on does the same thing. Or create a new project. Okay. And that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to click on a new project, and hopefully you'll be able to see what happens next. All right, so let's give this a shot and see what happens. Okay. Now I've created, I've clicked on the Create New Project. And this, hopefully you're seeing this screen, and it gives you all the um, possible different projects you can create or templates for it and over here you see that I've created uh, in the past a Django web project or a Python app okay and then there's all these other different types of web projects you, you can do apparently there's stuff called flask and bottle and I might actually go ahead and create <clears throat> um, video series on those too because we want to learn everything we want to be experts on creating uh, websites okay and with that I'm gonna click on the Django web project and hopefully this will work all right let's do this all 
All right, so here we go. <clears throat> We're going to create this new app. Uh, what are we going to call it? I'm going to call it to Django Web Polls. And then we're going to change where we're going to put this. Uh, example code to Django code. Select folder. God, I hope this works. Then we're going to create, kick, click create, and hopefully it will create the uh, the project. And here we are. We've created the shell of our project, right? So uh, let's go output. There's no output. Uh, PowerShell, I think this is the interactive part. Okay. And then here shows you the project file structure. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, let's see. So if there, uh, if we had created this as an app in a project, I think it would be under the apps folder or maybe another folder here someplace. Or maybe that's what it would have done this. Maybe it's the first one. So if we go to create a second polls, it would be another folder that looked like this. It's a chamber wig web polls two folder underneath this one. Okay. And uh, and then let's go ahead and let's look underneath that thing. And that's all the stuff. Look at that. And then if we go to this guy, here's where the code is. Here's where the code lives. And with that, I think we're done for this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Hasta la vista.